Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another Mailbag Monday. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today I have some packages that arrived and I have uh, no idea what's in, well, two out of the three. One I received a long time ago, but I didn't actually do an unboxing and I thought I should share it. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and get started with the one that uh, is out of the box. This one isn't for the Arduino projects. This one is for my flight simulator. It's care of Ron Rollo and Eric Tomlin out of Florida. You can find them on hangar45.net. This is a flight guidance computer for the Learjet 45, something that has never been available before in a reproduction model. So I haven't actually had this part open yet. Let's just take a look and see what we get. Uh, it's one of the big pieces, well it's in my opinion the biggest piece that's been missing for uh, all of us that are building Learjet 45s uh, at home. We could never have a scale flight guidance computer before. They, Ron and Eric, have fixed that for us. So in this beautifully wrapped package we have a gunship grey backer panel and a uh, circuit board set up that just looks amazing. This is uh, really nicely done. Pretty impressed. Uh, Project 45. So you can also find them online at Project 45. Uh, there'll be a link off of the hangar45.net. I won't open this. This is all the surface mount uh, components as well as the push buttons for the guidance computer as well as some daughter boards and connectors all in one kit. Just beautiful. I was lucky enough to supply them with the knobs for these kits. Uh, they're uh, pretty labor intensive if not darn near uh, pretty tricky to do uh, on a CNC so I was able to 3D print the knobs and uh, hopefully help them out a little bit. And this is the face panel. This is what the real Learjet 45 face panel looks like. This is backlit uh, with uh, surface mount resistors. Uh, pretty cool little rig. Someday I will get this assembled and show it to you in my Learjet cockpit. Uh, maybe throw a link up there to uh, my Learjet videos if anybody hasn't seen them. Uh, if you're interested, check them out. We'll start with the second package here. I have no idea what's in it. Uh, if you follow my channel you probably know that I pick up a lot of parts on eBay when I find them cheap. So. Uh, I tend to forget what I've ordered because uh, it's been a little while and I've been on vacation for a week. Just come back from Cuba, so we'll see what we got here. It's heavy, it's wrapped up very well. Ah, perfect! These are the connectors I need for, well, I only need one for making my shortwave long wire antenna that I'm running up to my attic with my spare coax cable. So uh, one of these I'll be, uh, I have a whole roll of Cat5 Ethernet cable and uh, just because I have it that's what I'm going to use and I'll hook onto here and run the wire around my attic and uh, I'm not sure the length just yet, I'm gonna have a look at that and, probably do it a little bit by the numbers the stairs and hook up to my software defined radios uh, and that'll be the extent of the remainder of my one piece of uh, extra coax so I'll have three antennas in the attic my discone style Comet antenna the uh, the QFH antenna for the NOAA weather sats if you haven't seen those videos I'll throw a link up there and uh, then I'll have the long wire antenna for the ham it up up converter or plugging uh, I can hook it right into my shortwave radio, but I really don't use it anymore now that I have SDR, so pretty cool. Those were, uh, well, they were dirt cheap uh, out of China. Uh, I got the whole package here for less than the price of one out of North America, so good deal. This is the last package I have. I think I know what might be in here, but I'm not entirely sure, just because it had my phone number on the package, and I think I've only given that out to one source. But we'll, uh, well, we'll soon find out. Let's have a look. Let's, let's 
Oh, no, it's not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. These are two new software defined radios. These are the DVB T uh, Terratech units. Uh, they're the R820T, I think, chipset, if I remember right. That's what I ordered because I, I tend to favor those. Uh, these were, I believe, $10.49 uh, Canadian, or was that U.S.? Might have been U.S., a little, a little bit more in Canadian. Shipped right to the door, right out of, uh, well, I wonder if I can find where they came from here. They were from Malaysia. But, yep, from Malaysia. So, they're exactly the style that I favor. I haven't tried this particular brand before. Throw that away. We don't need that because we're never going to use it for what it was intended for. But I have the Terratech unit with the, with the PAL connector and this has the MCX style connector. And I really favor those. I don't know why. Other people don't. I just like it because it's compact and tiny and I like this style of mag mount stock antenna and uh, I have a, a video of my, um, well my big kit, but this style is, uh, I'm getting some spares for my carry around kits and uh, I did make a video recently of uh, my carry kit and uh, well, I'll throw a link up there if anyone's interested in seeing it. This is the style that I keep in that kit. Um, piece of advice, first thing to do, add a bit of glue right there and then you won't have uh, the coax pull off the end of the antenna as you'll see in that video I just linked to um, but uh, yeah expandable uh, stock antenna works great these things are fantastic I just simply love them for ten dollars and fifty cents you have yourself a nearly all band receiver with the exception of shortwave but I have the hammond up and uh, I've got two of them 21 bucks away you go. I, I now have, I think this is five of these now, um, just because I, I don't want to have to keep switching around between kits and bags for the price of them. Good to just have a spare. So I'll give this a go and see how it compares to my previous ones. It's got some uh, cooling holes there. I may just end up cutting that out. I found uh, temperature control is is actually pretty good with these things. I don't have a problem anymore now that my original Noelec one has settled in, uh, as well as my other Terratech. But uh, it's always good to have a little bit more cooling, and there's no reason uh, there's no shielding on this plastic case, so you can cut them out and even put them into a metal shielded case. So. Anyway, uh, that's the water heater firing up beside my workbench, so it's going to get <laughs> kind of annoying here. That's the end of our Mailbag Monday. I'm glad you could join me today. Good luck in all your electronics ventures, and uh, check out these uh, software-defined radios for the price of them. Thanks for watching.